five. This is Live Miami at 11. Well, hello and welcome to Live Miami at 11. Good morning. It is Wednesday, June 15th. I'm Roxanne Vargas alongside Sherry Spear. And I'm Nathalie Poza alongside Trina Robinson and a very special guest. Very special. Linda special. Carter with hello. us today. Hello. Hello. So hello. Hello. So hello. So hello. So hello. So hello. So hello. Thank you so much for being here with us the today. The original Pleasure. super beauty. The oh, yeah. sexy no, superhero. Oh, oh, you look like so mama love sexy you. Voice. You're so young. You look great. Oh, oh look at you sweet. Look, you're 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 young look fabulous. And on that note, can we actually... So Linda's in town promoting her new album, right. Crazy Little Thing. And wow. I just want to open this up. Look how fabulous she looks. Look at that picture. Oh, Beautiful. You're gorgeous. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, drop dead gorgeous. Was that fun to do that photo shoot, getting ready for your I album? I hate photo shoots. Really? 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 Yeah. Somebody good. with a face like yours? Yeah. I had a body I, like I, yours. I've been doing photo shoots for so many years, and I tell you, I think it's my least favorite thing to do. If I have to do a photo shoot, I go, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've taken... I, Tens of thousands of pictures, but it's just one of those things, you know. I'd rather. You've done so much, though. Yeah. Sitting Films, in a makeup movies, chair and singing. Oh my gosh! I mean, yeah. it, you're just your like me. Yeah. 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 Well, what is your first? Love, though? What is your first passion? Uh, it's hard to say because I started off as a singer. I've always been a singer. I've always written music. I've always played instruments, but uh, m my great desire was to be an actress. I think that the, the music came so easily to me as a young girl that uh, I, I, you always are striving for something else. And after some time away uh, to raise my family, uh, when I came back to singing, I have to say that it felt, I felt like I'd come home. Mm. Coming mm. back to your roots. I felt so relieved to have this piece of me uh, uh, able to express again. So I would have to say m my first love is music. Small mm. venues or big venues? Anything. Any, anything. It, it doesn't make any difference. Okay. If, it's a, if it's a small venue, in some ways it's harder, some ways it's easier. Uh, you can, you know, you can see the people, but then you can see the people. <laughs> mm, <yeah. laughs> you can really see yeah. the people. So, part of my deal is really trying to connect with an audience. So uh, in when I choose songs, the songs are a I have to have something in my life that mm. it's relate, relating to, whether it's just silliness or whether it's <laughs> just it, uh, this makes me smile, like the uh, crazy little things, you know, called love. It, just something, you know, you gotta be cool, relax, get here, get on the track, take a back seat. You know. No, we're going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was ready to get up and dance. <laughs> so, so, with, and that just makes me smile. And then you get a song like uh, that's very haunting. The way that I arranged this, uh, uh, leaving on a jet plane. It's not the Peter Paul and Mary version of it. It's a very haunting sort of. I've got to say, you were just Thank glowing you. when you started to sing. Yeah. It's, it's like you, it made you so happy as yeah, well. You find peace in singing. Huh? I do. You make it your own, right? I do. You make this yeah. piece your own. I was surprised to learn that you sang before you started acting. Right. Yeah. Yes, when I when I started in Hollywood, I was informed that I shouldn't tell anybody I was a singer. Really? How come because they didn't it, you know, the day of the musicals was long gone and you just think about any singer who's tried to act hmm. or any actor who's tried to sing and how difficult it is. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you know what they don't have the talent for. You basically had the talent for both. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, I think so. <laughs> oh, so do we. I had a heartbeat. Yeah, you could sing, so, you could act, and you could... So, you know, and there, there really is, it. now that my family is, you know, they're, uh, one's in college and one starts law school wow. next year. And, and so I, I'm very happy to be out and working with these uh, great musicians, some I've known a long time. Mm. So I had an, I, I did a lot of music in the, back in the day and took... 16 years off. <laughs> Everybody should be so lucky, back. you know, yeah. to, have, to be able to come back and still come back strong. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows your name in that little outfit. Mm -hmm. I know. Talk to I us know. about I that. Let's outfit. talk about yeah, that. Yeah, you're, it's, I mean, you're sex symbol. I mean, what is that? I feel like? You know, the truth is that I, I, I never, you, I, I never thought of it as a sex symbol. I thought of Wonder Woman as. Um, it, you were strong, sexy. Absolutely strong, sexy. It's kind of the same sexy. way that you guys. 
She, you don't think of her as a sex symbol. I, I never thought of her as a sex symbol. She was just, she never thought she was all that. She just happened to be what she was, and that's kind of the and deal. That's what and makes her you, attractive. you know, yes. you, and she goes about living her life and trying to do the right thing. And but that's, I think, what is about all of us mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that it's other people's reactions to you more than it is because you're looking out that way. Yeah. You're looking the other direction. But again, it was such a strong, sexy. I mean, you it's, broke mm -hmm. such barriers for women right. that you could be gorgeous and this tough Amazon and kick a little butt, you know, and you were smart too. It was the whole package. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And interestingly enough, uh, they had me dumb the alter ego Diana Prince down in the first few episodes. And I just did, I, I said, I can't do that. You know, <laughs> I mean, that's not you. the opposite of beautiful and yeah, strong sure. is dumb. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is just, um, you know, so I, I, I worked it around so that she was, she was a pretty cool lady. The other, you know, the other. Part oh, trust me, I watched. Yeah. Bold and brilliant. <laughs> I was there with you. Thanks. <laughs> Sitting on the couch. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's a legacy that still lives on today. It's Does amazing. That, I mean, even, for example, like Halloween. How yeah. many women, yes. and, and even men dress up like super, let's yeah, just down say, here, you know, I mean, we are on Mighty Beach. Like, yeah. Wonder Woman, yeah. I mean, this is a, it's a, it's a multi I have a big closet. gay and lesbian following. Oh, yeah. so do we. Yeah. 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 I mean, right. so, you know, loyal, great, and for those of you who don't know, I'm half Mexican. Well, I, I knew I that. Was you say, you yes. speak Spanish. You're my don't speak Spanish. Wow. Yeah, that's out there. We children, gotta check that out. That's my out children, there children both speak Spanish, oh, but my father didn't. Okay. But they have. Uh, yeah, they all. I didn't. My father didn't, so we didn't speak it in the house. Just at my. So your dad was Irish, and your mm -hmm. mom was of Mexican descent. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Full. Really. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and you're just absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Thanks. I mean. You stopped traffic when you came in this building. Yeah, in case you didn't <laughs> notice. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay, let her go. Hey, listen, you know, you, you have somebody help you out with an hour and a half of a makeover in the morning, and then you just walk in. <laughs> 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 you know, I always say, I say, you should see me when I really wake up. You should <laughs> see <laughs> everybody <laughs> when they really wake up. You should up, see us you know? Yeah, like yeah come here at 3 in the morning when we all get here, and you'll see that. You'll really get to know us. Yeah, but we are who we are anyway, you know, inside, and that's... That's really what really, that's what counts is Absolutely. how we treat and treat one another. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. reflected on the outside. Well, Linda, yeah. we are you treat people in <laughs> yeah. general, you know? Yeah. Yes. Well, we are so excited to have you here. We're going to chat a and lot more you with here. you. Yes, yes, we are. We're holding and you hostage. still okay. a lot more ahead right here on Live Miami at 11. That was Linda Carter singing Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Bravo. She sang like five songs to us while we were sitting <laughs> here. That's just one of the songs on her latest CD, which is fabulous. And when you get it live and in person, it's even better. <laughs> you know her as that 70s super heroine, super sexy. I know she says, you know, it's sexy inside, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But your music is good. And like Otherwise, I said, it's just a pole dancer. <laughs> She's a firecracker, too. <laughs> well, welcome back. And if you're just joining us, she is here with us on the show. And we are so happy to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you, you love music. I mean, because you've it. just been tooting the songs off one after another. Well, as i actually been singing them to you as a way of explanation when people ask me, well, like, what kind of songs do you do? What's your music like? I'm, well, it's not the, it, it, it's kind of, kind of reimagined pop. It's. It's really just stuff I, my own playlist that I'm singing of all, of songs that, I, I mean, I'm at the age, in, or the time in my life, <laughs> the age, <laughs> in, <laughs> the time in my life where you see, I she get, hit me on that one. <laughs> 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, Freddie. I share the there. love. <laughs> uh, where I pretty much am just doing what I want to do. And if someone doesn't like it, that's okay, and they can blame me because it's entirely my, these are my choices, and I had a group of people that are brilliant musicians and a brilliant producer, uh, Grammy winners, platinum gold records, they're all uh, mostly out of Nashville, and they, they are just, it's, uh, it, it's so easy to work with people. 
really professional people because they can interpret what you have, you know, what you do. And speaking about interpreting, you were saying, and I hate to do this to you, but you were saying that behind every song there's a story. You were just telling Natalie mm -hmm. and I that. Mm -hmm. What about locomotion? <laughs> Hi, that's a good explanation. <laughs> yeah, what about well, locomotion? Locomotion is not about a dance. <laughs> well, it's kind of a dance, but it's about sex. <laughs> it's about, you know, come on, baby, do it. I know you get to like it. If you give it a chance now. I love it. Never look at that love song it, the same it. way again. Yeah, I love it. it. No. Do it nice and easy, baby. Don't lose control. <laughs> no. Are you listening, what? gentlemen? <laughs> So, wow. and for me to sing that song that way, it's not about come hither. It's about who. It's about the tease. It's about you know. And uh, so. It's, it's that lopey kind of cool thing that when you're looking at your guy, you know, and you go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Enough said there, Liz. Enough said. You were just telling us about some of the people you've collaborated with. Kenny Rogers, the list goes on and on. Because, yeah. you know, music. Ray Charles, Tom Jones, George Benson, Eddie Rabbit, Merle Haggard. Wow. A lot, a lot of people. Wow. Uh, over, uh, that was, you know, back in the day. And today, uh, as I come back into into music, I'm, I'm really excited to see who else I can collaborate with over the years. And what, has the, what has the feedback been like from, from your friends, from your family, from your kids? My children never heard me sing until when I went back to singing six years ago. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they were kind of surprised that I'd given it up for them. Mm -hmm. And I went, oh! Because <laughs> I didn't really give it up for them. I I didn't have a choice. I wanted to be with them, and I didn't want them on the road. The road's a terrible place for children, and uh, I, I wanted to experience motherhood, you know, in total. So here I am again, and now that they're gone, they don't need me anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, they no, do. They love and appreciate you more now for those sacrifices. Get all the is gonna be they're they really they gonna they need they you. Yeah. <laughs> Linda, I have to ask you. We were talking earlier about the Superwoman uh, costume. Do you still have it? I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And she wow. could do that because she's super she woman. Wonder woman. No, 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 I have it. I you have it. it. I do have it. And I'm um, actually trying to get my hands on another one because I don't. Oh, really? I want to have one for one child and one for the other oh, child. Oh, um, nice. But, but um, otherwise, I'll have to cut it in half. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't do that! No, 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 don't do that! Either. Yeah, I do have it. Real quickly, I know that we have to wrap. But if they ever bring Wonder Woman to life on film, would you want to be part of it, making a cameo on it? Well, yeah, they tried to bring it back this year. Yeah, they uh, tried they, to make a they show did, of it. They did a TV show, and it didn't, I guess it, it didn't, didn't get picked through. up. Yeah. And, yeah, I, I would, but but I also think that, you know, I I don't want to just walk on just you for fun. You want to be part I, of it. Yeah. Good. Be part see, of the story. We want to see that movie come to life. We want to see right. it. Well, thank, thank you for being with us. So and much. tell your handsome husband I said hi. Yeah, I will. Her husband's so handsome. Have oh. you seen him before? Ooh. Thank you. Did yeah, your son look so like cute. you? Oh, my son. No, my son looks like me. Oh, your children okay. That's a good gorgeous. thing. I'll show you a picture after we're done here. All right. So Linda is going to be at the Barnes & Nobles tonight. Yes. She's singing and signing her CD. So go and check her out to meet Linda and get your own copy of Crazy Little okay, Things, okay. be sure to hey, stop guys. by the Barnes & Noble on Kendall Drive. That's 124th Avenue. You'll even, again, get to hear her sing. And let me tell you, what a voice and what a beautiful personality. Call 305-598-7727 or visit thebarnesandnobles.com for more information. But just get there tonight. <laughs> Pack the store. She's amazing. Yes.